Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back or welcome to Pandemic, where our content is contagious. Today we're going to be playing the new Single Strike Tyranitar. In my opinion, it's probably the best Single Strike deck out there. It's more consistent than the Single Strike Ushifu. But hey, who am I to judge? Let's check out a few gameplays and you can see why I think, or why I can persuade you to play Tyranitar Single Strike over the Ushifu. <laughs> Okay, so here's our deck for the Tyranitar deck. Uh, as you can see, it's more of a Houndoom engine, but we're playing free Tyranitar just because of its 240 attack for 4 energy, which is actually quite easy to get, as provided that we can set up our Houndoom. And it can do Crylatch for 60 to discard your opponent's top 2 card deck, which could be handy in the late game. But nonetheless, it will usually go, because every uh, rapid energy or single strike energy attached to it, plus 20 attack so it probably aim for like what 100 or 120 when you use this or when you use your single strike attack it's usually go for 300 maybe 320 so that's really handy and then so we play three of them as our main attacker then we play two single strike ushifu we're playing for the 180 because and a weak coverage since uh eternatus and pikrom is still considered as the top two tier one deck so playing these two we're well, playing two of them help us counter that and it can one shot Eternatus because of the weakness so that's really handy and then we play one the Denny for consistency 4-4 four, four line of the Houndoom just because of the single strike roll we really want to set up as fast as possible and uh, one throw about as our Pokemon and then since the deck is a bit inconsistent to make the deck consistent but <laughs> the only way to make a deck consistent well make a deck inconsistent to consistency is by playing for crushing hammer so yeah for crushing hammer is really good uh, it stopped loads of it slowed down your opponent so you can smash them up and energy deny them while you set up and then you play two great ball I was uh, considered playing level ball but great ball give you variety and yes it's a bit random but sometimes you want a card to search for any Pokemon well has the option to search for any Pokemon so great ball is a card for me in my opinion it's probably correct Okay, and then you play four quick ball, quick ball, nothing else to say. Every you can pretty much search for everything apart from the Houndoom, so that's insane. Free switch, uh, four earn of vitality. This is our main card. We kind of want to reserve it. We don't really want to discard it. We want to maximize the potential of this because uh, it's the only way for us to shuffle back energy, so we can use our Houndoom to up to load them up again. And then you play three Tower Darkness. The card's insane. Discard a single strike, draw two cards. Insane. And it's a stadium, so you can counter your opponent's uh, stadium. So people play like Giant Half or Power Plant. So this card is a nice way to stop that. And then we play three bosses order, four Marnie, three Research, uh, one Air Balloon, and two Cape of Toughness. Because if you attach it to a Tyranitar, it, Tyranita, it becomes a 280. So that's pretty nuts. And uh, yeah, so that's really handy. And then. Uh, four or energy stuff so we can have a variety of uh, options for attacking wise uh, Four capture energy because we want to get a Houndor or our bench our Pokemon as fast as possible So we can power them up and then our main energy that we'll be looking for is the single strike energy Okay guys? Okay, so with this deck we tend to want to go first so we can sell the Houndor as fast as possible Okay, so it's a decent start. I mean you can pretty much get everything that we want So we've got the Tyranitar Okay, we got a crushing hammer in case so we can slow them down while we try to speed up. Okay, so they're Mulligan and it seems like they're playing ADP. So this is a great example why this deck is actually really good. So we go draw the extra card to find ID Root Mod 2. Okay, so first of all, we will think playing the Great Ball. So it give us an option. Okay, we failed the Great Ball. Okay, that's a 9. But then we play Capture Energy. To bench a Houndor down, we'll play the great ball, a quick ball, discard this, get another Houndor. Okay, and providing that we already attached an energy, uh, we don't really need to do anything else. We can keep it the Dene, since we've got Crushing Hammer, we can utilize it for next time. Uh, since Crushing Hammer is amazing against this deck, so yeah, we're just playing the waiting game, and yeah. So it's escape rope, so I bring this up. So that's fine, that's fine. 
Everything that's fine. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we already got our attack set up in the sense that if you compare this to the single strike Ushifu deck, single strike uh, Ushifu, you need to evolve to a VMAX to really use it well. But with this, all you do is just evolve, evolve, attach an energy, and you can attack, which is pretty good. Okay, so our opponent is trying to draw ADP. Well, he's got a quick pull for a Arceus, the Arca Power Chaos, attach an energy to it, and He's trying to uh, go for the first turn auto creation if he can, which doesn't seem like it because he attached a metal energy instead of a water energy. Nonetheless, I think we're in a great position. Okay, so now we just need this crushing hammer to pass. Okay, so we've got to pass with this crushing hammer like a boss. <laughs> so good in this game. Uh, Tower of Darkness. Okay, so I probably want. God, I mean, I'm going to the den anyway, so I'm going to quick go away to earn. I hate this garden, that's just because it's mainly a one more great way of winning. Okay, so we could uh, play single strike Ushifu down, but I think the best way is just so we can just get a hound door. Drop the hound door, drop out the den, there, hoping to draw a switch and two hound door. We didn't draw that, but that's fine. Uh, just if I attach my energy here, I'll discard this. Uh, play the Urn of Vitality. Oh, what I should have done is um, tower away the energy. Nonetheless, we're still in a great position. Uh, we're going to play Professor Research, hoping to draw a uh, Hound Doom. Okay, we didn't draw it, but instead we got a cape of toughness. And oh, well, we can always hope that we can draw it. So we just got this, drop two more. Uh, play the other crushing hammer, why not? Okay, that didn't work. Okay, we're quite in a tough position because we didn't draw good. We just need to draw a hound doom. Okay, we drew one, which is actually quite good. So play it, evolve it, I mean not evolve it, yeah, evolve it, attach an energy onto our Tyranitar, switch it away into our Prover, and then just uh, attack. For 80, discard two cards, and we discard Escape Rope and Aegis Lash, so that's alright. Um, I mean, we could have had the knockout if we had the Houndoom. However, uh, our opponent can attack with the ADP. All they need. Okay, so he's playing that. That's fine. We just want to put up. Maybe we put this up. Yeah, we can let's put this up so we can only get one point. Okay, he's going to go for it. He's going to go for a water energy. Okay, so we're pretty much in a great position because he's going to return into this GS attack. Once he's GS attack, then uh, we're just going to knock out. Because our Tyrannic attack at the moment does 260 if we can get energy, which we do have the energy. So attach it here and then knock out. Yeah, okay. And oh, he's playing Tool Scrapper. Doesn't really matter. We're just waiting for him to do something. Okay, come on. Yep. Then he's all auto creation. And I'm pretty sure he used up some sources. No, he hasn't. Okay. So now we're gonna switch into a Tyranitar. Use our attack, our oh, raw, attach the energy there. Ideally, I wish I had a room for Tyranitar. Maybe I should have bench one of these, but it's still all right. Okay, uh, so now, now, we're gonna, so at the moment it does how many? 280. So we're gonna money away our hand so we can shuffle back there. Okay, I had pretty 
good. We got the crushing hammers to stop them if we need to. I did. I could play this, but I don't think we need to because our hand is quite good. And uh, sometimes you don't have to play everything. You can just wait and, and conserve your card. So yeah, let's do 280. Knock out this ADP. And yeah, it's got a sit card. That's fine. Don't care about that. And then we just grab three prizes. And now we're in the winning seat. So now he's gonna give up. And yeah, insane. This this is why I was playing with this deck as a joke, and I just felt this deck is super strong. Like, watch this. He's gonna try Metal Source again, so I can use this uh, Zacian to knock this out. But then we can just one shot it with a Ushifu. Goodbye, Matthew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna beat me, buddy. Attaching Eddie, but they have a Metal Source. Oh, he's really digging for a Dedene to get that Metal Source to knock this out. But we got the other hound in our hand, so we can just go hound do, hound do. Yeah. <laughs> the more I play with this deck, the more I see more potential. Um, there's some stuff I want to add to it. I mean, I was considered playing the uh, hiding dark energy, so we can give our Taranta free retreat instead of the uh, aura energy. But having the aura energy helps us with. We should, we should see our opponent give up because our deck can just one shot it. So yeah. Game one, it's a win. <laughs> All right. So we're going first. Let's see if we draw something good. Okay. Now this is a great way to start this game. Yep. And then we just wait. So we've got a Tower of Darkness. So we can scars our Rapid Strike energy if we need to. Okay, we're playing against the Metal deck. Okay. Let's see if we can kick this guy's butt. Okay, we actually open really, really good. Okay, so we attach the energy here. Now let's attach this cape of toughness there. Attach the capture energy there, so you can get ready for the next turn. Put this down there. I mean, do I keep a uh, tower dark? Yeah, go no, I need to get ready for it. Oh, handle. Okay, nice. I attach the energy there. Okay. Providing that if we draw a supporter or another handle, we can do 240 or 260. Uh, so we just need to draw one, well, we need to draw a supporter, so that could be Amani, Professor Research, or uh, Dene, or uh, Crobat, and that's and we're in a great spot. And we play four, okay, okay, okay. The more I think about this hand, the more I hope we have like what? Well, Without looking at our deck, we have four free research, four money, uh, four hound, well three hound, so that's ten card, and then um, the Dene, quick ball, four quick ball, fifteen, probably about sixteen. Uh, you're looking at like half the deck. Okay, we didn't draw any of it, but we can still draw it. Uh, let's play. This to discard this to draw two more cards. We didn't draw it, guys. We didn't draw it. We hate to see it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know, crushing hammer, slow him down. Detach your aura energy there. Discard this. I don't really want to bench this because I don't see the point. In that case, we go it's, um, single strike raw. Detach your energy there. I mean, in case they play stadium, you got these two to discard to draw in case we just don't draw good. Oh, we are so close, nonetheless. It's all groovy, guys. Uh, it's all good, it's all good. Next time we just use this to power this up to 2 before we knock this out. And if he does uh, evolve into a VMAX, we can still knock it out because this would do this. Oh, I gave up. Okay, so it's because if he did evolve it, we could just knock it out. And we had a powerful attacker set up, so that's sick. That's it. That was a quick game to be fair, so I'm quite chuffed with that. Okay, we whiffed. <laughs> we whiffed. Okay, our opponent's gonna get an extra draw. But yeah, this deck is insane. We won two games in a straw, and I'm quite happy with that. Okay, uh, I don't know if we're going first or second. Let's just see. Okay, I guess we're going. I don't know. Oh, he's playing Mr. Mine. 
Okay, this should be an easy game for us. I mean, we can just get an easy knockout, but the only downside is we didn't go first, so that put us in a disadvantage. Um, but it's okay, because if we just use, uh, we just need to get free energy onto it and just use Grand Latch and suck the Skyland card from. Okay, so. Okay, you know what? Quick away the Evelyn. Don't think that's what I needed here. We don't have a draw support. We want to do a capture energy, a food play, or anything. Ah, bad place to so get this out. I don't know how to do that. Um, Power of Darkness. Okay, that's this card. And I'm not going to have Draw two more cards. Oh! Okay. Great. We actually draw everything that we kind of want. <laughs> uh, I'll have to kick toughness. And we get an old turn. Oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> that's actually really sick. Um, I want to see if you guys can see this. Okay. Ball guy as for two ball cards, I'm pretty sure. Three ball cards. Hashtag, he got many balls. <laughs> yeah, cherish ball, poker ball, and great ball. Yay. Okay, so. Fail. Okay, he's gonna get Mr. Rhyme. Playing Mr. Rhyme with Rob, here's Mr. Mike. Does 40 damage for each uh, eyeball item card you've got. Okay. Oh, there's gonna be massive damage, isn't there? Are we gonna lose to this deck? Are we going to lose to a meme deck? I mean, our deck is kind of meme deck, but I think it actually is really good. I think he's trying to draw energy. Okay. Did he go to Deme? No. Oh, he's actually trying to draw energy. What did he discard? Damn. Okay, well, actually, let's read this card. Discard any number of item cards that has the word ball in their name, and this attack does uh, 40, 10 plus 40. Okay. Does he have it? Okay, evolve. Evolve. I thought it was going to be way worse. Okay, let's just put that. That's the pressure energy onto the Terminator. Another one. No, that's 120. Yep, that's insane. Good, good. Okay, and now let's just discard this, draw two more cards. Now we chase this for next turn. And now we're just going to use this to do 120. Knock it out. It's got two cards, hopefully, more ball cards. I mean, ideally, I shouldn't have benched this. Uh, but who knows? We could mill them out with this attack. I think I'll pass to the scoop. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's three games in a row this deck. Happy day. We open up pretty good. Uh, let's say we start with the Ushi 3 for once. Nothing's on Ushi 3, it's fine. Drop this. In case people reset stamp me, I doubt they would. Okay, so it seems like they're going first. And 
They probably think, oh, they're playing. They're probably playing Tantus. I see me seeing the Ushifu. Yep, they are quite scared because all we need to do is to do this attack and we win. Okay, so if we went fast, we would have settled one, but as long as we draw a crushing hammer when they attach an energy, yep, okay, he's playing weakness guard. Okay, so now this is going to be a tough game. Yeah, he's far. Okay, yeah, that's fine, bro. That's cool. Wagon Town is fine. Okay. Right. Okay, the capture energy, let's just create a sneak right there. I got our other hound, hammer hound door. I got one hound in his pride. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. I made mean, four crushing hammer in the back. Okay, so we get this now. We're gonna switch. Switch back in the head. Throw that to draw four. Okay, we got that pounding. We didn't draw the thing, but that's okay. Do we possibly do this now? We didn't need to do anything else because we can just uh, evolve it. Catch an energy to knock out next time. Um, I, mean, I could just boss it all of this and stuff. Annoying him. Is that probably a bad Ah, oh, part of me just won't play it. Nah, say some. I think we're all good. Yeah, he's bound to go off switch, but me. Some three eighteen. Let me see, I have two more Pokemon. Knock this out. So we have it. The Tantus always have that shit too. Yep, play it. Okay, his hand must be good to discard crushing hammer rather than playing it first end such it. But unless he's scared, try to go for a one shot on this so it's okay, I get where he's coming from. Play another Pokemon there you. Okay, he doesn't have it. Okay. Right. Right, we need to draw a cape of toughness. So I need to draw a hound door and the energy and the cape. Attaching it onto here would die because it's irrelevant. So we just got attach one here. So now next turn we can just use this to knock this out. Ah, oh, yes. Get that head, bro. Okay, okay. yeah, great ball. Okay, we can still win this, guys. How do you all he okay so full crow up me so if I put him in that position again I win. 
Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I just need to draw a Houndor and an Energy. And a Houndoom. Okay, Kate of Toughness. I can one shot this. Money. Good bang. Okay, I can one shot this if I get. Okay, let's do the smart play. I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get it on the end, so he's just barely wasted. I could quick pull it now. Let's go get the handle. Oh, God. Oh. Invincible. Shame. You hate to see it. going to do is this a good ping this we whip the hound doom again or else I will knock this out not good it's just it's my opponent just getting super lucky with these crushing hammer but hey and we only play one we we pass a crushing hammer but hmm how bad was going to Two money or boss? Boss research, okay. Yeah, knock this out, mate. Go on then. Okay, now I'm going to knock him out. He's still in a good position, I'm pretty sure. Uh, providing we draw a crushing hammer so we can knock this out, we're good. Okay, come on, yes, okay, so you're not going to win this game guys, okay, so now we're just going to go single strike, draw, attach it onto here, no, this is when, it's annoying that power plant, do I start attaching it here, uh, you know what, I'll actually play a Naval Crowbar, <laughs> okay, knock this out, Grab three prizes. One, two, I'll die. Three. Okay. Two energy, three energy. Alright. We need to draw a switch on boss. Switch on a boss. Is that a weakness? Okay. Come on. Draw a bro. Okay. I mean, if I put this here, <laughs> oh, we might actually win this. Uh, uh put this up. Get rid of this energy and that energy. This and then we're going to and we see um turn to round top provided we draw it and that's time we get the knockout on their uh crowbar okay yeah that's it since this would do Oh my god, it's only the 100. 
resistant to fighting. Oh, there's a dog that was red. I don't really want money. I do money. Wait, just let me put it there for Five and I'll switch into this. No, I can not go right. Get this. No, uh, mess. I think my play is just to mill him out. Go to right off. Here and next time I got this. Alright, next has got two cards from you, bro. Okay, uh, we got an option. We're going to mill him out. We're going to mill this guy out if he can't do anything else. Yeah, we milled him out, guys. We milled out our entire distance. Also, give him a good old well played, mate, and we just go mill him out. Because he's going to be like, oh, what's going on? There now, he just gave up <laughs> because it, it re-attack him. He moves it back, and yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Toronto is insane. <laughs> we just beat the best deck of the format, and our Ushifu was really good. So sick. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I persuade you guys to play Toronto single strike over Ushifu single strike. In my opinion, I think Taranta would be going up better during further sets as more single strike cards come out. And yeah, I won four games with it. One of them being ADP, which I can just one shot it with um, all the stacking the energy so you can do 320 max damage. And against Eternatus, which is the second best deck, it can use uh, your single strike Ushifu to do the weakness type coverage. So you can do 360. So yeah, let me know in the comment down below if you prefer Single Strike Ushifu or Single Strike Tyranitar. We all know what I prefer, Single Strike Tyranitar. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.